Okay, so now what I'm doing is I'm taking a second round at my new Tommy Taggy, whatever they call it, range extensioners, and going for a better. Let's see what happens. All right, so I'm at 2,000 feet. I set it at 5.8 megahertz. Maybe that'll do something better. And I just hope if I can get it out to two miles with bars, I'll be happy. Because usually the bars turn red when I'm out uh, 5,000 feet, 6,000 feet, a little over a mile. We'll see what happens. Uh, see, I lost my bars. And I've got... I got this thing high up in the air. Yeah. I'm not too impressed with this. The reviews say, oh yeah, man, I get great distance now. I went further out. And uh, that's not the case with this. Got something going on. I got that gimbal bouncing around the wind. I'll take it out to a mile. 5,280 feet is a mile. It goes in and out. With the bars. Let's see what happens. I started at midpoint because it's too boring. Most people lose retention if they want to see the video, so. I'll make a short one. Just the important stuff. Okay, I still got bars. It goes in and out, in and out. So I'm out over a mile now. I know where I'm at now. This little beach here I came to yesterday, but it was miserable weather. Okay. I still have a signal, but I don't have, maybe if I go higher. I don't want to lose it in the water. Okay, so I'm out uh, about a mile and a half. that ridge out there I can see these cliffs I'll get a little bit higher maybe I get a better signal I haven't lost the signal yet well even though I'm in the red bars I prefer to do this in the desert on a nice day. But if I lose it, I can go fetch it. The tide's going out, so I got time I can go fetch this thing. If it drops on the beach.
Hmm. So the trick is to set it up at 5.8 megahertz. I did some bouncing around on some videos to see what, what was up with this thing. I'd like to get it past 12,000 feet. That's where I lost my signal last time. But really, two miles is far enough to take one of these things. But I, I know a place in Eastern Oregon where I can really test it. What I'll do is just, <coughs> I'll follow this highway that's straight for like 12 miles. It has no curves in it. And then I'll land it. And then I'll drive out to go fetch the thing. I think that's what I'll do. So I'm almost to 12,000 feet. I lost it last time at 12,007 feet. So I'm further than I was before when I lost my signal. Okay, low battery. Cancel. Low ba oh shit, I do have a low battery, don't I? I? Got 67 left on my battery. So what I'll do, I made it out to 12,466. That's for the return to home, but I'm not taking any chances. Okay, so I got it to uh, that distance. About two and a half miles. Okay, so it gives you all these little warnings. I got enough battery to get me back. This was a little bit better than yesterday. So what I gotta do is hug the beach. In case this thing lands, but I, I think I've got 64 on my battery. So I got plenty to get me back, but it's in the red for some reason. I don't want to emergency land in, in the water. That would suck. I'll just get this thing home. A little risky doing it on the beach, but it's the only straight place I know within miles where I'm at. I'm still not impressed with this uh, antenna at all. I'll fly about 50 feet just to stay out of the... There's homes higher than that. Where I'm at, there's homes on this cliff that are higher. going against the wind. Let me get out of the water here. So I'm almost two miles out. Less than two miles. Maybe it did a better job. <laughs> I haven't really seen a difference. Flying with caution. I'm low. I'm 57 feet. Hopefully, nothing tragic happens. Okay, so now my bars are back to normal. I, you know, to be honest with you, I really can't tell the difference if this thing's made a difference. I'll have to do it twice. One without the antenna and one stock. Yeah, 
and I'm standing just past that corner. I'm in clear view. So that way I got a connection with the signal. But the signal goes in and out, I see it. The bars go from full bars to in the red. A little bit nicer today than it was yesterday. But flying a drone is for fair weather. It's definitely not for cold, miserable, rainy days. It's for beautiful days during the summer. There's Highway 101 right there, that road heading north towards Seattle. Just in between Newport and Walport, Oregon, on a beach someplace. I'm a mile out, so that's good. But I got I got full bars now. Truthfully, I really don't need to take this that far. I just want to see what it can do. But I, I prefer to get into hard to reach areas where I can't get in it with a truck or a jeep or something I want to go explore I think two miles is good enough Got a wind pushing against this thing. All right, here it comes. Less than 4,000 feet out. Should see some people. They're looking for clams and mussels or whatever. It's the first time I've seen this with my battery where it actually gives me a red zone. All right, well, that's good enough. I still got full bars. It's boring after this. Over and out. Get rid of this.